Now the struggle to find a practice field for many youth soccer teams in the Valley. It has some of them turning to fields or parks with higher rates of crime. Investigator Morgan Lowe has been looking into this and found some city fields are simply out of reach for some teams. It's 6 p.m. on a Thursday night and the soccer field at Phoenix's Solano Park is filling up fast. Kids wearing orange jerseys, kicking soccer balls, their parents sitting in folding chairs watching from the sidelines. It's like this all over the valley. Youth soccer is so popular that there's a shortage of soccer fields here in the valley. It's most pronounced during the week at night when all these teams and all these leagues are vying for practice space. Honestly, there's more kids than there are fields. So in most situations, you're finding a field shortage. One touch, can you one touch it? Bo Byerly is a soccer dad with three kids playing in youth leagues He's seen the field shortage firsthand. The fields have to have lights, right? Because by the time parents get home from work, kids get home from school, you can't really start practicing with kids till five, six o'clock at night. In Scottsdale, the city opened up temporary soccer fields on the polo grounds at Westworld. It's not a perfect solution. The fields are lit by portable lights and it's still pretty dark. But just up the freeway in North Phoenix, sits a soccer mecca. It's called Reach 11, 18 fields with stadium lights, and it's a city of Phoenix park. It's also off limits to kids who want to practice during the week. They only rent it out to big events, big tournaments on the weekends. That's right, all of this green grass is reserved for pricey tournaments, many run by out-of-state companies. The City Parks Department refused to provide someone to answer our questions on camera, but issued a statement that says Reach 11 is the only dedicated soccer tournament facility in the city of Phoenix. The department provides 77 other soccer fields available for public reservation, for soccer practices and games. But because of its purpose and frequency of tournaments, Reach 11 is not open for daily soccer practice. Maybe Reach 11 was built under one premise, but now there's a need. There's a massive need for fields, and these fields sit unused. Back at Solano Park, we saw another consequence of the practice field shortage. From condoms on the ground to people sleeping on the grass in makeshift tents, some in the middle of the practice field. Soccer leagues are forced to use parks they might otherwise avoid. 41 crimes were reported at Solano Park in the past year, including aggravated assault, sexual conduct with a minor, drugs, and two death investigations. I don't know if the average person would feel like this is a safe environment for their kid to practice in. I don't know if this is the kind of place, if you're a coach, that you would feel comfortable supervising 15, 20 kids at this park, right? Now, Reach 11 had just one vehicle burglary reported during the past year. Meantime, the city of Scottsdale is preparing to open a year-round sports complex near Westworld, which will have five lighted soccer fields. And tonight, a spokesperson for Scottsdale told me the city will continue to offer the Westworld polo grounds for soccer as long as it's not booked for other events. So beautiful fields. It really speaks to the popularity of all these youth uh, no soccer kidding. teams out there looking for places to play and practice. Morgan, yeah. thanks.